We're gonna go over the top five grip exercises for BJJ, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from Garagestrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna be more explosive, you wanna have a better grip, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you hold on to those opponents. So in the sport of BJJ or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, there is a ton of grip work. So a lot of different grapplers in BJJ will reach out and they'll say, hey, you know, I can get into really good positions. I can take my opponents down or I can get into a good position defensively when I'm sitting in the guard, but I really struggle with holding on to different positions and different moves because I've got a weak grip. My hands start to fatigue. I don't feel really strong. I don't feel really explosive in my grip work and it tends to lead to serious problems on the mat. These different individuals end up being in precarious positions because they can't hold on to the levers. They can't even hold on to their own wrist, gi or no gi. And that ends up being a really common theme with a lot of different grapplers that are trying to get to the next level. They're able to put themselves in really good positions, but not execute the moves to the standard that they need to to really up their game and up their grappling game and so we put together those top five exercises so we've got to think about right away there's pistol grip there's monkey grip there's umbrella grip there's gable grip there's all these different grips right we have to train them in the weight room to a point and that's a key component and that's coming in right at our number five spot we're going to start off with monkey grip pull-ups and so when we're thinking about doing monkey grip pull-ups we have to think about long duration okay long duration and explosive work so what i like to do is if we're going to do monkey grip pull up i want our athletes to be hanging there fully length and lats because there's going to be points in a match where you're hanging at a position for four five six seconds and then all of a sudden you've got to explode you've got to pull tight you have to take advantage of that little glimpse of opportunity that your opponent is giving you so when we're working with pull-ups specifically with that monkey grip now we can train you got a four or five second hang and you have to explode up and get that chest that get that sternum to the bar another factor is that we might do four or five Five explosive sets of three to five reps and then we might rest for 30 seconds and do two sets of 10 to 15 or even going to failure to really try and target those lats and target the grip and that's one key factor here is we've got to think about what goes into our grip if we're training the brachioradialis okay that is also going to help us improve the strength endurance of our brachialis and our biceps and that's one of the key factors is that a lot of grip work is going to be involving your lats your biceps and your forearms so it's not just isolating that brachioradialis and pronator teres and the rest of your forearm but it's also focusing on what happens with the rest of your coordination and that's a key component here with pull-ups is that we're going to start to utilize not just our forearm strength and our grip work but how our forearm can recruit with our biceps and with our lats coming in at that number four spot we've got rope climb and here at our gym at garage strength we really like to utilize rope climb from different perspectives and we have two ropes that are two inches and there's a main reason behind this when we're grappling when we're in bjj when we're in that serious bout almost all of the work that you're going to be doing is they're going to be around a two inch lever right so if you're grabbing your own wrist or if you're grabbing their wrist or you're grabbing their neck now we've got that open palm Okay, so we're either gonna have that open palm here with the thumb under, we're gonna have it with the thumb over, we're gonna be holding a little bit tighter here. So the key concept now comes back to, all right, if we've got that thumb and where we need it to be, we've gotta train through various positions with a thicker rope. And that's where that rope climb comes into play. And the reason why I love rope climb is that it forces the athlete to accelerate through the entire pull oftentimes it's hard to train your lats to accelerate okay they're a little bit slower twitch and when we're talking about that grip work we have to grab explosively when we're on the rope we can't just sort of ease into it and and do it a little bit easier right it's got to be a quick grab so that's one key factor behind the rope climb is now you've got to coordinate your grip your hand strength your forearm work all throughout your entire forearm in with your biceps and your lats and you've got to at the same time recruit from your gut to hold everything stable a lot of grapplers struggle with rope climbs early on because they're loose in their trunk 
And that's another key factor is that rope climbs are gonna transfer really well to that mat strength because you're gonna learn how to brace. Okay, you're gonna learn how to brace in the trunk here and that's gonna help you accelerate even more. Now, we'll use rope climbs on one rope and then we'll throw in a very advanced trick called Donkey Kongs, okay? So Donkey Kongs, you're gonna actually have to coordinate with two different ropes and that's gonna dramatically improve your grip strength. One key factor here, one, it's really challenging, but two, what we have to do then is sit there and say, all right, what's the next step? How can I actually thumb over on a rope? And it might be starting with some rope pull-ups with that thumb over and then you might be capable of over time climbing with that thumb over grip and that is when you're going to dominate your opponents coming at that number three spot this is one of the best ways to finish a workout and in grappling in bjj there's a ton of isometric work where you get a grip you get a position and you just gotta hold you've got to hold it for 30 40 50 seconds whatever it might even be longer than a minute and you're holding that as long as you possibly can and that's where the forearm roller comes into play and we've got two different forearm rollers we've got one that's two inches and we've got one that's two and three quarters of an inch and again this goes back to training with different body parts it's trying to relate that to an ankle to a wrist to a neck whatever it might be to an upper arm now we've got that wider grip functionality okay and now on top of that i like to look at that forearm roller where's the rope if the rope's on the inside how are we lowering it if it, the rope is on the outside that's going to change our eccentric movement it's going to change the way we're utilizing that forearm roller so there's a couple different tricks that we can throw in is the rope on the inside is the rope on the outside is the thumb under is the thumb over okay is there no thumb involved at all now what ends up happening or is it you know more of a pistol grip now as we're lowering that we've got to think about how is this going to transfer to the mat we can't just lollygag and just go through the forearm roller we have to visualize different positions that we're going to be in on the mat so that as we're lowering it, we're thinking about what each finger is doing and how it's contributing to that grip strength and that's where the biceps and the forearm is going to come into play and if we think about the brachialis right here it's the underbelly of your bicep that along with the brachioradialis mainly the brachioradialis is responsible for supination if i'm turning my wrist now i'm actually supinating so if i'm in a position on the mat where i need to try and rotate that's going to be all brachioradialis and that's where this really comes into play the forearm roller and what i like to do is figure out the hardest position if the rope's on the inside again lower it nice and slow thumb over thumb under and then you can flip it around thumb under thumb over you can change the grip you can change the rope what i recommend doing getting a forearm roller we what we ended up doing is we got a couple different pieces of metal from a metal yard is stainless steel punched a hole in it put a rope through it put a climbing rope and we attached our weights to it now the crazy part is we might sit there and say all right forearm roller five minutes five straight minutes and you've just got to zone out focus on your breathing and if you watch strength training for bjj you'll see i talk about that stuff you, you can focus on gracie breath you can focus on wim hof breathing while you're executing that forearm roller and that's going to help you improve dramatically not just with your anxiety and control during a match but also with improving your grip now coming in at that number two spot we've got towel hangs okay and this is where i recommend if especially if you're in gi but this will help you if you're a no gi guy if you're doing both then by all means you definitely have to do this a lot of guys that are no gi or that are even just wrestlers are going to say oh i don't need to do towel hangs but guess what it's going to drastically improve your finger strength it's going to drastically improve your grip strength i recommend utilizing towel hangs on some of your leg days on some of your plyometric days where you're focusing on being a little bit more explosive even during other grip work okay so you can wrap towels around you can wrap towels around a pull-up bar and what you can do is you can hang with various grip you can hang thumb under thumb over pistol whatever it is that you need to do and try to time yourself on a regular basis and this is one key factor with grip work the first two three four days of working on hangs on the isometric muscular action right the first couple days it's going to be horrible you might only get 15 to 25 seconds but you'll improve drastically very very quickly okay within a week within two weeks you might be hanging for a minute minute and a half and what you're going to see is that's going to carry over really well to when you're trying to manipulate your opponents because not only is that going to help you grab the gi a little bit more effectively grab the bottom of the sleeve wherever it is that you need to work on but it's also going to help you with that strength endurance and that's a 
key component behind BJJ. We have to have that strength endurance. We have to have that grip work that lasts a very long time because that's going to be where you start to make moves on the mat. So I recommend utilizing towel hangs two to three days a week at least. Even if you're at the gym and you're not doing a workout, you're not getting into the gym, you're out on the mat, you can still finish that practice by executing some towel hang periods. And while you're doing towel hangs, you can even do trunk work. And that's where this comes into play. This trunk work is gonna be similar to that rope climb. Now all of a sudden you're doing some knee raises, maybe you're doing some cross body work to, to help you with lapel. And now all of this work starts to come together and you execute more effectively. Now, before we get into that number one exercise of grip work for BJJ, if you need help with grip work, maybe you're pathetic, maybe you can't, you have no match strength, you feel weak, you can't execute in those opportunities that you're given by your opponent, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and we've got a four week program, Grip Strength for BJJ, that we've put together to help you you dominate your opponents and improve your match strength. Now coming in at that number one spot, we're talking about a movement that's gonna teach you to be explosive. It's gonna teach you to coordinate. It's going to teach your entire forearm to recruit explosively with your bicep, explosively with your shoulders and with your lat. And on top of that, it's going to be a movement that's going to be a varied position. It can be a little bit more narrow. It can be a little bit more wide. What is it? It is the plate flip, okay? And so what we like to do is we like to get plates that are 10 kilos all the way up to 25 kilos. And what that ends up doing is it shows you, all right, we got a grip here if we're holding a 25. We've got a grip here if we're holding a 10K. And a lot of guys will be ah, oh, I don't need to hold a 10K, that's too light. But guess what? There's a lot of reps that you need to get in in different positions, okay? So if I'm doing a, a 10K plate flip and I, I'm Tommy Tough Nuts and I think I'm super, super strong, well then do 10K plate flips because it's gonna be a very narrow ledge here that you're grabbing on. Do them for a minute, a minute and a half. Make it a little bit more challenging and make it relatable to the sport. If you are explosive enough and you are strong enough and you're someone like Alex Rose who's able to do 25K plate flips for five or six reps, well, Go ahead and do that and you can train that for three to four sets and then you can drop down and do one to two to three sets of one and a half minutes at 10 kilos. And what this does is it requires a ton of coordination. It requires hand-eye coordination. It requires explosiveness. And on top of that, you can add in some different twists. Okay, maybe we do a plate flip, we catch. Now we're gonna hold it and we're gonna do raises. And then after we do shoulder raises or, or maybe some rows, we're gonna go back into plate flips. And so it's one way to really train that explosive grappling grip, okay? It's extremely extremely important to recognize that grip is not just about holding on and not just about grabbing. It's about being explosive and it's about putting a lot of pressure on your opponent very rapidly. If you can do that rapidly and you have good trunk control and you're explosive in your hips, now it becomes so much easier. And a lot of guys in BJJ shy away from this stuff. They get away from what they could be doing in the gym. And I believe that now we're on the dawn of where now these guys that are top in the world are starting to realize, hey, we can get in the gym two to three days a week and really, really up our game. So utilize all these exercises. I'd say plate flips, hit those two to three days a week for sets of five with a heavy implement, with a lighter implement, time yourself a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, okay? Utilize all these when you're trying to focus on your grip work. And if you need help with grip-based training for BJJ, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com, pick up our iron claw for BJJ grip training. If you want more information about grip-based strength training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.